In this video, I will be showing you guys how to set up Melon DS on your computer. So Melon DS is a Nintendo DS emulator currently on Windows and Linux, both of the 64-bit versions. But this was supposedly being made for PS Vita as well. I don't know when it's actually going to come out for PS Vita or if it's still being developed on. But obviously when it does, I will make a video on it. Anyway, I'm just going to show you how to set up for Windows. It's a pretty good DS emulator, one of the best ones you can get. Um, you can choose Linux as well if you want. But I'm just going to go to the latest version, Melon DS version 0.8, and I'm just going to choose the Windows 64 bit. So I'm going to click on this, and it's just going to download the zip file. Next, we need to get a Nintendo DS BIOS file. So go to the second link in the description, select Nintendo DS slash DSi, and then at the top here, just click on DS BIOS files and firmware, and it's just going to bring us to this mega page. And all we have to do is just click on download, and it should download in a second. So once we've got these two files, we need to go to our downloads folder, and we will actually be able to find them in there. We also need a Nintendo DS ROM of choice. Now it's entirely up to you where you decide to get your DS ROMs from. This one right here is backed up off one of my cartridges. So the first thing we need to do, get a Melon DS emulator, right click and select extract to Melon DS version 0.8. It's then just going to extract it into the file folder for us. Once that's done, we can actually just delete the zip file. Next, get the DS BIOS files and firmware, right click and select extract here. Now we actually need to rename some of these BIOS files to get them working. Get the um, this one right here, the BIOS NDS7.ROM. Right click, go down to rename. You want to remove the DS bit and where it says ROM, you actually want to change this into bin and then just press enter and then just click yes. Do exactly the same thing to nine as well. So where it says NDS, completely delete that, backspace that out and change ROM to dot bin instead press enter and then yes and then what we're going to do from here is drag everything including our rom and we can put it inside of the melon ds folder now double click on this and as you can see everything is in here we want to double click on melon ds.exe it's then just going to start up just like this so it's pretty simple, we've got the file tab, this is open ROM, save state, load state and quit. You can save the game on this. We've got system, where you can just click on run. Um, this is basically when the game's actually running. We've got config, so we've got emu settings. If you click on this, um, as you can see, it's not really in here, it's not much in here, it just says boot game directly, we can click on OK. We have got input, input configuration. This is where you can learn how to use it on your keyboard or you can add some kind of controller, like an Xbox controller or a PlayStation 3 controller. We can click on OK. Um, we've also got hotkey config, video settings. Um, I'd probably leave everything how it is. You can change the resolution if you wish to. Uh, we've got audio settings, Wi-Fi setting, basically everything that you'd have on normal DS and more because you can change all of these screen settings and stuff like that. So it's a very simple emulator, but it's one of the best ones. To play your game, all you have to do is go to File, Open ROM, go and select your ROM. So mine is in the folder. Here it is. I've got this game. This is actually a horror game. I'm just going to click on Open and it's just going to load up just like this. So I really like this emulator really simple really easy to set up and it works really well as you can see the graphics currently are very good for the touch screen you simply just click with your mouse um, the sound works and everything like that I'm using the keyboard so I can use the arrow keys and enter let's just start up a quick game and just test how this works it should work perfectly fine and everything like that um, this horror game actually looks very cool um, I've never really seen horror games like this on a DS, so it looks pretty crazy. And of course, because it's on your PC, the graphics are just going to be, you know, a hundred times better. Um, it's just going to look really nice. So it says, on this game you have to use the stylus to look around. As you can see, it works perfectly fine just using my mouse. And I can use the arrow keys and stuff like that. And we can walk around the building and basically just play the whole game very easily. So yeah, you can use an Xbox controller for this if you wish to. It's entirely up to you what you decide to play with. I'm fine playing with mouse and keyboard. I think it works kind of well. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. This is how you quickly set up the Melon DS emulator and get it working on your PC. You can also follow along if you have Linux. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.